I have two more questions from um, fans. One is actually from an amazing Instagram account called Fantastic Tilly that is all about you and your sister Jennifer. Oh, I love her. Yes. Love her. So she does the best stuff with Jen, and she started posting some things, um, some pictures of me, photos I've never seen before. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how she gets this stuff, <laughs> and she's also, oh gosh, she just got her uh, degree. I mean. She's amazing. She's, I don't know what she's going to do in life, but you know, whatever she's going to do, she's going to be super successful. And what a sweetheart. I love the picture she posts of Jen. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. It's like, I, 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 it just makes me happy seeing all these things. It's, it's like a hello from, I just can't believe what Jen and I have accomplished. Like, it just really, I just can't. And I can't believe, I mean, what a kindness of her to, to find all these things and, and show them to everybody. Mm-hmm. Really cool. Well, her, what's your question? Her, no, you're good. You're good. I'm sure she'll love that when he, when she hears this. Her name. Uh, she said her name is Cassidy, and she just wants to know what's something you learned or were told in your youth that you still live by to this day. I'm trying to think because I've learned so much. Right. I mm-hmm. keep on going to different different times and. Uh, well, okay, so I think I learned in, I think one of the most important things, well, one of the important things I learned was um, in growing up, so there was challenges in growing up in a house where um, where uh, pedophiles marched in and out and where there was abuse of, you know, all different kinds, uh, to, that it gave me an awareness. So I know I have this, it, it really tuned my intuitive sense. So I know I can feel it. It's a feeling, and I've learned to trust it. Um, sometimes feeling something right before it happens or where it, it kept me safe, and it's been able for me to um, get out of quite dangerous situations from having the skills of handling uh, those types of situations and also knowing when to just leave, leave an area, leave a thing, um, it's given me a very good intuitive sense as to, uh, with people. Like mm-hmm. sometimes I can know stuff about people and maybe it's part of my childhood, which if I didn't have the childhood I did and had to ask for the social workers and ask at school and ask for our friends, I, I probably wouldn't have been an actress. I probably wouldn't have needed to express myself through dance, which was more of a silent way of expression so that I didn't say the words because God forbid you say the words, you're going to get punished, right? Mm-hmm. So when I first, my first baby steps were becoming a dancer to express the joy, the sorrow, the anger, the everything through movement, then I became an actor, which was kind of safe because I could express it through other people's words. So I was just acting. I was just, I was just pretending. But then, um, then the book insisted on coming out and then it was, stepping into my strength as words. So it's been uh, baby steps, but I think um, that knowledge, uh, that knowing, okay, you have to do this, um, uh, that in the pit of my stomach uh, got highly tuned as a child. And so it's what put me on a bus to go to New York. It's what uh, made me know if someone meant me harm. It's what got me out of several situations that were very scary. And I used the skills I'd learned um, to negotiate my way out as a child. So, you know, it was a challenge, but it was also a gift. Um, so I guess that also that my sisters, my my sisters, uh, you know, and I think uh, Jen with her imagination, I think she in a way saved me. I think we could have all turned to the dark side uh, to numb it with drugs and alcohol, which, you know, there was a short period of my life where I did that um, when I was 12. But um, but I think the imagination and Jen taught us to imagine grandly and that we could be anything. And she gave us fine lady lessons. And we were, you know, she was determined and her determination made us think, yes, we can do anything. And if we just imagine hard enough, it can come to be. And it, it did more than I ever imagined. Like I thought for me, um, when I was young, my imagination, I remember when I was um, seven or eight, 
and uh, we visited somebody who lived in a trailer in a trailer park, and they had a picket fence, and and people had flowers in the middle, and it was so normal. And I, that's what I longed for. I thought someday maybe if I work really hard, I can have a, a sweet trailer and uh, little flower boxes and a white picket fence. And that was um, where at that point and. And then each time you do something. So, what, and another thing it taught me is if I'm scared, do it anyway. Because you don't want to have what if. So, if I'm scared and I have two choices and one is a safe choice and one is I will have regrets if I don't walk down this road, mm-hmm. I walk down that road. Even if I only go a few steps and that leads me to a different road and I find out that I would never have gone to the different road if I hadn't walked down that road. So, I think all of those things, I don't know if that answers the question, but. Those are when I'm thinking back as to what uh, shaped me as a as a child. I would say those things because um, and every time you do something that you're scared of, but you know you'll have regrets if you don't do it or if you don't say it. Even if it's to say to somebody, "I'm really sorry for doing that," or you to a total stranger uh, say something that is true that you overheard and there's a kindness or something like it doesn't cost anything to. Um, if you are going to regret like, oh, I wish I had told her that, but I was too shy because she might think I'm weird. I just do it. And every time you do it, you flex that muscle a little bit more. And every time you step over that fear threshold and do something else that is a little out of your comfort zone, because it doesn't matter if it's successful or not. It really doesn't. You work as hard as you can and you try to make it as successful as you can, but it doesn't matter if it's that. It's the process of doing it. And it's the process of commitment to yourself to to step past that fear and see what's on the other side. And every time you do it, you think when you are faced with another thing that scares the hell out of you, that you think, okay, but you look back at the other things. Like when I couldn't be a dancer anymore, I thought my world was over. But I survived that. When I couldn't do, play Constanza and Amadeus, but I survived that. When I had fears about my children or relationships, but I survived it. And you just keep on being brave and strong. And then some days you might not want to be brave and strong. You might want to just wiggle your toes and, and say, I'm going to stay in bed today and read a romance novel and eat bonbons. And that's okay too. <laughs> but that's the choice and that's fine. And you earned it. And that's what I tell myself when I do that. So um, that's all. Amazing. That's, that's, I guess. <laughs>